Hello guys, welcome back to our series on commonly asked programming questions. So today we are going to see our next question that is program to print all distinct element of a given array. Okay, so let's see. So basically distinct element means we are given an array elements. We have to pick only the elements which are not repeated in the array. That is only the distinct uh, array elements we have to get. Okay. So for that we are going to see how we can write the code. So here you can find the code in the various programming languages like C, C++, Java, Python, C Sharp, PHP. So here I am going to explain the code in C programming language. And for other you can uh, also I will share the link to this article in the description section. So you can refer other uh, code in other languages. So let's try to understand the C code in uh, online compiler. So here I have taken out the code. Okay, you can see the code. So here basically our array is okay, which contains duplicate uh, integer values also like 6, 8, 12, 8, 6 repeated. Okay, 10, 14, 2, 14, 14 is repeated, right? So in this way we have uh, array with repeated values, right? So what our task is, our task is to print only the values once, right? Suppose it is it uh, 6 is coming twice so we have to print that is only one time right so we we are just removing the duplicate elements okay you can say like we are removing the duplicate elements we are just printing the once occurrence of once element right okay so here our we have defined an array then what we have done is we have calculated the size of array that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so we have just calculated the size you can if you know the size you can directly refer that so then again our loop is there okay so this is our logic okay for finding the unique elements right so distinct for printing the distinct elements right so here i equal to 0 to i less than n n is the size of array 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right and i plus plus we have defined one variable j and we have iterating starting from 0 to i uh, j less than i right so basically we are just checking whether the same character is coming or not okay so if it is there then we will break so if we break then i will never be equal to j okay but if this condition never gets true then at the end of this loop the value of j will be equal to i okay j less than i till j less than i that loop will iterate at the end j will equal to i and this loop will exit right so if this loop will exit then we have checked whether i equal equal to j or not if this is equal to true if this loop will exit that is if no character matches no number matches in the array then break in that case i will not be equal to j if this condition never gets true then i equal to j and we will print that array element okay so this is our logic right so we started from 0 j less than i right and then we check whether both the array elements are equal to equal or not right then if equal then we break and then we print in this manner we are going right suppose we have taken 6 right 6 initially i equal to 0 so array of 0 will be 6 right then we have checked j equal to 0 j less than i j equal to 0 j less than 0 so no no condition so that will never get true so we exit this for loop right and then i equal to j as you can see that both are 0 so we printed i 6 right in second iteration we have taken 8 okay i value will be 1 right i plus plus first case 6 then in the next case i plus plus right zeroth case we get array element as 6 in then i plus plus that is i value will be 1 and at 1 index we are having 8 so this time we are having array of i as 8 array of 1 that is 8 right j j start from 0 so we will check with the previous element whether 8 is equal to 6 or not no it is not equal to 6 then we simply that condition never gets true so we will normally exit the for loop so in that case i equal to equal to j we print 8 so you can see we have printed it similarly for 12 we have printed 12 so now the case will be this so we are having i value as 3 right okay means when you iterate this loop each time i value will be incremented so suppose this time i value is 3 right 
j is 0 so i value 3 means 8 we are having area element as 8 and j equal to 0 so from 6 to 12 we are checking these three numbers right like okay so we are checking with these three number if any anything matches then we break the loop so in that case uh, that uh, i equal to j condition will be false and we are not printing that error element in this way we are working right so basically we are checking the number with the previous all elements if we find any number matching this then we will break this and in that case i is not equal to j so we will not print so this is our logic behind printing all distinct element of a given integer right so basically we are picking we are printing the value once only okay so this is our code uh, you can go and check uh, the code here i have shared the link in the description and if you have any doubt you can mention that in the comment section thanks a lot